as a soldier and messenger of the Lord of the Galaxies, I say greetings to the youth. Remember our mantra for you. Believe, receive, and achieve. Alhamdulillah, all praises do to Allah. Socrates once said, All men's souls are immortal, but the souls of the righteous are immortal and divine. Wisdom indeed, Socrates. Albert Einstein once said, The only thing that interferes with my learning is my education. Well said, Albert, and we couldn't agree more. The current scientists of your planet revel in the maleducation provided by the devious architects of this physical matrix. They don't realize that Satan and his demons have kept them stagnant in stupor yet believing that they are progressing by means of this same maleducation system for millenniums. Unfortunate indeed. Our good buddy, neuroscientist Sam Harris, believes in the theory of determinism, which in essence means that all events, including human action, are ultimately determined by causes external to the will. Or simply, human beings have no free will and cannot be held morally responsible for their actions. Well, the foundation of this theory or belief can be traced back thousands of years to Greek philosophers Heraclitus, Leucippus, Aristotle, and others. Now, we could alienate the common people of your planet by relaying convoluted jargon related to other relevant theories such as indeterminism, necessitarianism, quantum indeterminacy, quantum decoherence, fatalism, the block universe, or time itself is a fourth dimension, proposed by Hermann Minkowski and Albert Einstein, and a host of other mere scientific theories or simply beliefs. However, we will keep our rebuttals as simple as possible, for we are here primarily to teach human children the complete truth and show them how to argue with the pseudo elite of the earth. Perhaps these children will save their souls in the realm unseen. For most of their parents and other adults are too heavily indoctrinated with the lies of Satan and his demons, who are the architects of this physical matrix. Sigmund Freud, a neurologist and founding father of psychoanalysis, tried to define the human mind, also known as 
the soul, spirit, or psyche by use of the terms id, which are primal instincts, ego, the source of self-importance or esteem, and superego, the source of acquired morality that mediates between the id and in the ego. Well, Sigmund, nice try. But here is wisdom. The human body contains some 100 trillion cells. Mind-boggling indeed. There are some 100 billion neurons which transmit nerve impulses in the human brain. However, these only govern the physical functions of the human body, not the metaphysical. Actually, the brain is an insignificant lump of flesh without the soul or spirit created by the Lord of the galaxies. The soul is the mind which is housed or seated within the physical brain. The mind or soul is the source of all consciousness and subconsciousness in all living creatures, which includes animals, of course. Yeah, the infancy stage sciences of the human species will never define consciousness for the simple fact that it is not made of atoms and therefore untestable. This is monumental evidence of the realm unseen for thoughts, emotions, memories, and so on are not made from the material realm, yet govern or affect human behavior in the seen or material realm. MashaAllah, it is the will of Allah. Now questions do arise such as, who or what created emotions? Love, hate, sadness, happiness, etc. And who or what created thoughts or ideas? For we logically know that the Big Bang <laughs> didn't create emotions, thoughts, memory, and so on. Well, the Lord of the seen and unseen delivers the best answers. Holy Quran, Surah 50. Verses 16 through 18 and 21 through 22. And certainly we created man and we know what his mind suggests to him. And we are nearer to him than his life vein. When the two receivers receive, sitting on the right and on the left, he utters not a word, but there is by him a watcher at hand. And every soul comes with it a driver and a witness. Thou wast indeed heedless of this, but now we have removed from thee thy veil, so thy sight is sharp this day. Yeah. The Lord created the mind or soul fully equipped with the emotions, thoughts, etc. as a gift to humans and housed it within the brain, which is the reason you don't hear thoughts or feel sadness in your arms or legs. Further, Two angelic beings, you call them guardian angels, are assigned to each human. 
but will only be visible to he or she after physical death. MashaAllah. Holy Quran, Surah 75, verses 2 through 4. Nay, I swear by the self-accusing spirit. Does man think that we shall not gather his bones? Yeah, we are powerful to make complete his whole make. Mm. The memory of humans is housed within the spirit or mind, not the brain. After death and upon judgment before the Lord, you will remember all that you are accused of before him. Hence, the self-accusing spirit terminology is right and exact. Holy Quran, Surah 6, verse 93, excerpt. And if thou couldst see when the wrongdoers are in the agonies of death, and the angels stretch forth their hands, saying, Yield up your soul. This day you are awarded a chastisement of disgrace because you spoke against Allah other than truth and because you scorned his messages. Yeah. In closing, you atheist scientists have learned a few things regarding the physical world. Emphasis on the word few for Richard Dawkins and Sam Harris. Yet you all know nearly nothing about the realm unseen. However, as the verse just relayed, you will yield up your souls upon your death. Then your day of reckoning will be at hand indeed. You may believe us or disbelieve us. The result will be the same regardless. Marshallah. It is the will of Allah.